Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be taking a look at something special that came into my collection recently. And as you can tell by the box, it is coming from Colt. So let's open the box and see what's inside. Here we have a Colt 1911 Gold Cup Mark IV National Match Series 80. Now that's a mouthful. In the box, we find the original owner's manual, which has never been removed from the box, a small tool, two mags, and this pistol has the original paper here attached to it, has never been removed. This pistol has never been shot, and to my knowledge, this slide has never been racked. So let me take it out of the box, and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, we're back. So we have on the table the Colt 1911 Gold Cup Mark IV National Match Series 80. When I first got this pistol, admittedly, I didn't know anything about it. I just knew it was a Colt and that it looked really cool. As I started to do some research online, it was very frustrating because there is very little information on this particular pistol. And this is why. It was manufactured in 1995, not in 1996, like some of the information that I found online tells me. And to confirm this, I called Colt and spoke to the archives department, and they confirmed that it was manufactured in 1995. This came from Colt's custom shop, and it's a limited production of 500 units worldwide. And this was made to commem commemorate, I cannot say that word, the U.S. shooting team. The pistols were distributed by Lou Horton, and as we speak, I have on the way a letter from Lou Horton describing the history of this pistol and certifying that it's a limited production run. Taking a look at the gun, we have a gold cup slide, and by the way, I took off the gloves because I didn't want to I had them on because I didn't want to leave any smudges or marks on the on the gun as we were doing the video. But I saw that there was just a lot of feedback to the camera of the brightness of the light with the gloves, so I took them off. I'll just wipe it down later. But we have a gold cup slide, which is deep blue and polished to a mirror-like finish. I mean, it's just it really does look like a mirror. It has a five inch barrel and the slide is mated to a full size government frame with a skeletonized trigger. This particular series was produced only in 45 ACP. So let's take a closer look at it starting from the top. The markings on the left side of the uh, on the left side of the slide include the Series 80 Colt Mark 80 Gold Cup National Match with the Rampart Colt on it. Where it gets interesting is the markings on the left side of the slide. So on the left side of the slide, you can see it has the U.S. Shooting Team logo. It also has the Gold Cup up here. Both of them are in gold leaf and not simply gold colored paint. It is gold leaf and that was confirmed to me by Colt. Next to the Gold Cup here, it also says Gold Cup National Max national match, excuse me. The serial numbers on these guns have three digits followed by the letters USA. This again to commemorate the US shooting team. Of the 500 guns made, serial numbers 001 to 250 were sent to the US shooting team and serial numbers 251 to 500 were sold to the public. A portion of the proceeds 
from the sale of this gun was sent back to the US shooting team. The sights are adjustable target sights, and these were made by Colt Eliason. And I hope I'm saying that correctly, but they're both black on black, sights by Colt Eliason. Now moving down to the trigger, this was very interesting to me because the trigger is not a Colt trigger. It's a Les Bear trigger. And what I found out that it was the first time in history, as I understand it, that Colt had installed a non-Colt part on one of their 1911s. So we have a gold cup slide on a full-size frame with a skeletonized trigger and a Les Bear trigger. Pretty amazing for a 24-year-old gun. Moving down the grip, we have an extended beaver tail, the mandatory grip safety, and a very nice palm swell right there. It just makes it a very, very, very comfortable gun to, to get a grip on. And you also have an undercut here that it is right below the trigger guard. And it's very well molded. I don't know if you can pick that up right here. It's a lot of features for a 24 year old gun. And again, any of the smudges, anything you see is not discoloration of the gun or the finish. The finish is like, like mirror. But all the stuff that you're seeing here are just fingerprints from showing you right now in the video. Moving down, then we have the grips. They have a beautiful polished rosewood grips with a Colt Serpentine logo on it on both sides. Now, market value for this gun, I have to tell you that I have no idea. None whatsoever. There's only been 500 of these guns made, as I mentioned, and not many of them come up for sale. I did find an auction a couple of years ago. I didn't find it a couple of years ago. I found an auction that took place a couple of years ago in which one of these were sold for $3,500. So who knows what the market value of this thing is. If anybody watching this video can guide me on how to gauge that, that would be very appreciated if you can leave it in the comments below. So now what do I do with this? Part of me wants to go out and shoot it because I mean, look at it, something that is so fantastic with the sights that it has, with a Les Bear trigger, with the ergonomics that it has. Part of me really wants to go out and just see what it's like to shoot something like this. But people that I know that are far more knowledgeable than I am on these guns, when I tell them that I'm considering shooting it, their reaction is comparable to me being in Italy and throwing a tomato at the Pope. It's just, they're like, there's no way you can shoot this thing. Even speaking to the reps over at Lou Horton, they say, nope, this should be put away on a safe and never shot. To me, guns that I can't shoot are no fun. But how special is this? I, I don't know yet. I don't know how special it is. I don't know what the market value of something like this could be. But I wanted to share it with you because apparently it is something special. So I want to thank you for watching and my question to you is what will you do with this? We just put it in the safe and lock it away or would you take it out and shoot it? I look forward to hearing your comments below and as always if you enjoy this content please consider subscribing and clicking the like button below. This would greatly help a brand new channel like mine. And once again, thank you for your patience for um, I'm doing this on one take. The bigger part of this video was one take only. So I appreciate you watching. Look forward to your comments. And I'll see you on the next one.